We have ignition and we have liftoff. The start of a journey that would take Voyager 1 to the very edge of our solar system and beyond. Farther into the solar system than Journeys of exploration, like circumnavigating the globe for the first time or having a footprint on the moon the first time. This is the first time we have been exploring now, begin to explore uh, this new region of space, interstellar space. Nearly 50 years after the launch of Voyager 1, we are about to witness a liftoff. Scientists are baffled by Voyager 1, NASA's most traveled spacecraft, which is still traveling into uncharted regions of space. And now this venerable spacecraft appears to be acting strangely and is sending terrifying data to Earth. In this episode, we'll discuss the peculiar information that the Voyager spacecraft is sending back to Earth. Scientists' desire to learn more about extraterrestrial planets has existed since the discovery of the Big Bang, which is what encouraged the launch of numerous space probes, including Voyager 1 and Voyager 2. The two spacecraft were siblings and weighed about 720 kilograms, which is equivalent to a subcompact car. Both were launched during a short time of exceptional outer planet alignments, resulting in a slingshot effect that caused Voyager 2 to launch first and begin its voyage on August 21 from the NASA Kennedy Space Center. However, Voyager 1 was launched two weeks later on September 5 of that year. On December 15, 1977, the Voyager 1 was able to pass its older sibling from one planet to another, despite having to travel at different speeds and follow separate routes. Since then, it has been our go-to resource for learning about a variety of space-related facts and puzzles. The first spacecraft to do this was the Jovian Imaging Mission, which launched in 1978 and traveled approximately 265 million kilometers from Earth before transmitting a sizable number of images starting in January 1979. Voyager 1 traveled through the Jovian moon system in February 1979 and then discovered the tiny rings around Jupiter a month later. After putting in an astonishing 100 hours of labor to take 3750 images of Jupiter's rotation, it also produced a time-lapse video showing 10 of the planet's spins. The first amazing discovery of Voyager, one was the discovery of two new moons which were named Phi and Ametis. For the spacecraft to be ready for its flyby of Saturn and to escape the likely impact with Titan, one of Saturn's moons, during its orbit around Saturn, two course changes would be necessary. Additional moons discovered by Voyager 1 include Mammoth, Enceladus, Tethys, Diony, and Rhea. Once the Saturn mission was completed and both Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 delivered the required data, the Voyager planetary mission was over. The Voyager Interstellar mission, the new mission's official name, launched on February 14, 1990, traveling 325 million miles per year beyond our solar system. During this travel, Voyager 1 captured some well-known images of our solar system and sun. These pictures are commonly referred to as solar system family pictures. So in order to conserve power and memory before the spacecraft's intergalactic journey, the cameras were ultimately turned off. The primary objective of the VIM was to extend solar system exploration past the outer planets to the heliopause, the farthest point in space where solar radiation takes precedence over interstellar winds, and if practical, much farther. Despite a slight reduction in component redundancy, both spacecraft are still able to provide scientific data determination. The termination shock, which happens when the solar wind slows to subsonic speed and undergoes major changes in plasma flow direction and magnetic field, is one of the three stages of VIM. The other two phases are the heliosheath exploration and interstellar exploration phases. Voyager 1 completed this phase at a distance of 94 AU, while Voyager 2 completed it in August 2007 at a distance of 84 AU. Or in addition to the interstellar Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 missions, MESA also manages the spacecraft Pioneer 10 and Pioneer 11, A New Horizon. After Pioneer 10 was overtaken by Voyager 1, 
Pioneer 10 was launched on February 17, 1998. With no other space probes in sight to catch up with Voyager 1, Pioneer 10 continued its mission for an additional 14 years before reaching the interstellar environment on August 25, 2012. skip ahead to November of this year, when Voyager 2 officially left the solar system after passing the heliopause and entering the interstellar medium. At this point, Voyager 1 is thought to be 155 AU, or 14.5 billion miles, from Earth. Since it entered the unexplored zone outside of our solar system, it has continued to provide us with vital information that no earlier space probe missions have been able to reveal. The heliosphere a bubble that surrounds the sun, is created when the solar wind from the sun and the inward flow of the interstellar wind combine. Voyager 1 entered stellar space on August 25, 2012, and is currently climbing away from the planet's plane. Voyager 2 also entered stellar space on November 5, 2018, and is currently descending away from the sun despite the dubious nature of the most recent data transmission. The antenna that returns data to Earth appears to be functioning correctly. According to a NASA official statement, the intergalactic explorer is operating properly and is obeying instructions from Earth. These spacecraft contain a 12-inch diameter gold-plated disk that includes video and audio messages, and it also contains 35 different noises from the Earth, 115 pictures, and 90 minutes of Western music which they have recorded in 55 languages. So in case aliens found our spacecrafts, they might be able to understand these messages or music. The 45-year-old Voyager 1 ran into an odd issue at the start of the year. While its other systems continued to function correctly, the Articulation and Position Control System, AACS, which keeps Voyager's antenna pointed toward Earth, malfunctioned. The spacecraft then started communicating inaccurate information to controllers about its activity and status. The twins are now traveling to the farthest corners of the universe, and we don't want to lose contact with them, because it is possible that they might end our struggle regarding the hunt for extraterrestrial life. Before you leave, make sure you have liked the video, shared it with your friends, and subscribed to the channel.